Pandora's Vault. Poseidon's Vault. Hades Vault. Odysseus Vault. Kronos Vault. Gaia's Vault. Banker's Vault. Titan's Vault. And even Apollo's Vault. All great prisons. But with all one thing in general. They were all called vaults. But none of them was a vault. They were prisons. But I got curious. What does an impenetrable vault look like? Well, I'm about to show you. Because may I introduce you to Vaults Vault. <laughs> okay, the name is the ideal, but then I just didn't have any inspiration. Okay, leave me. So, Vaults Vault. Before we enter, I need to tell you about some rules I use while making this vault. One, there has to be a way for multiple different players to store over a double chest full of items per player. Two, a player with a locker must be able to visit his locker at any time he wants. Three, the player must be able to put his stuff in his locker and take some out. Four, and last of course, no other players can access other people's stuff. I. Let's see if I did it. Let's let a player use his locker. So, he first pushes this button to go all guards and go through the portal. Now here is Vault's Vault already different from all other vaults. You put this item in the locker. Except the items you want to put in the vault, you put that item in the other chest. You'll see why in a minute. He then gets his key guard out and put that in his ender chest too. He then re-enters the portal to enter the vault. The guard will close the portal and opens this 3x2 piston door to let the prisoner in. He opens the bedlock and let the player set his spawn. The player then has to jump into the lava pond next to him. When he respawns, he goes through the entity check to make sure the player takes no second person with him. If there are two entities, the conduit will turn off, resulting in the player drowning. But for now, let's say there is only one player. The guard will open the second door and ask the player what kind of locker the player owns. If he owns a minimum security, he goes up. If he owns a maximum security, he will go down. First, the minimum security. He opens and the chest so the player can get his items out. The guard opens the top door and when the player is up he opens the locker door and let the player in. He opens the locker so the player can get to his locker. When the player is done with his locker the guard closes all of them and lets the prisoner out to the ender chest. The player then stores the items he took out in the ender chest and he sets his spawn. The guard then turns off the conduit and blocks the spawn point so the player respawns at world spawn. He, he then can go back to the portal and get the stuff back out of the temporary locker and out of the ender chest. At max security, you go down. The guard will open the right locker for you and the ender chest if necessary. And when he is done, the leaving process is the same as for the minimum security. Now that is Vault Vault. The first ever impenetrable vault possible for the survival Minecraft. And as last note, thanks to Zane from Zane Likes Minecraft for helping with a lot of the creative design and helping in the video. We just made a Discord server if you want to talk with me. I can't guarantee I'll read comments since YouTube decided not to notify me anymore. I don't know why, but if you want to contact me, Discord is the way. Link in the description. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe. What? You are still here? Why? I'm not gonna say anything. Or will I? Nah, I won't. Why are you still here? Nothing suspicious here. Okay, sure. Just because you watched all the way, you deserve to know a little thing. 
This video was a complete joke. I really didn't put any effort into this video. It was like two days of work. Please don't take it too serious because I don't. That's why it has some flaws.